Dr. Art is here. My question, do you suffer from text day? A lot of times today, I saw a lot of patients come in and they were extremely tight all the way in the muscles, all the way in the back of their neck, all the way into their mid back. And one of the reasons for that, I saw a young patient just sitting in the waiting area just like this on the phone with their head on their phone like this. Some of you are probably watching this video on your phones right now. Do me a favor, just roll your head back, hold your head back and hold that phone up like this. We gotta start walking around like this. This is actually becoming a pandemic. We're in a pandemic right now, but we're creating another pandemic of where people are taking their cell phones and they're coming out with their head out like this. And it's causing what we call anterior head carriage. And what anterior head carriage does is it strains the muscles in our neck and it also puts pressure on the nerves in our neck which can make everything from our grip strength go weak and everything like that. It can also cause headaches because the muscles go all the way up into the top of the head and it goes all the way in the middle of the back. One of the things that you can do is they got different things that you can order to actually bring that head back like this. Phone stands that you can actually put your phone up and you can actually stand it right there in front of you. There are also other things you can do too. If you're sitting at home, I got a lot of people that are working from home now. And what they're doing is they're ordering these desks that you sit, it's called a desk converter, that you sit on top of your desk, you actually squeeze the sides, you raise it up, and you can raise your computer screen to where it's eye level. It's the same thing, whether you're sitting on a computer all day or you're sitting on a cell phone, it's still causing that compression in the neck, which we call text neck. The other thing you could do too, is you start to feel that tightness in your neck. You can also order what we call a dental roll. This is one of the things that we have in our office. This right here is a foam block that's designed to help to restore that curve back in your neck. That curve in your neck, you gotta think of it like a shock absorber. It helps to minimize the tension in the muscles and actually absorb shock as we do everything in day-to-day -day life from walking to sitting to driving and standing. If you do not have a foam block like a dental roll or something like that, or a traction device of some sort, you can roll a towel up, and when you roll that towel up, you can actually put it in the curve of your neck, to actually support the curve of your neck, and you will lay on that for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you can't lay on it for 10 to 15 minutes, you can start out with a shorter amount of time, duration of time, like two to three minutes, and work your way up gradually every other day. That's one of the things that can actually help take a lot of pressure. The reason why this is so important, and I wanna share this information tonight, is the brain controls everything. It does, by, it does so by sending energy down that spine. That spine, again, is like a river from that brain to that spine to all the organs and cells and tissues in the body. If the signals can't get there, everything else is not gonna work right. You always think about this guy named Superman, Christopher Reeves, that fell off a horse. He dislocated C2, the second cervical vertebrae in his neck, and it severed his spinal cord. When it severed his spinal cord, nothing below that worked. He was paralyzed. He had to rely on a machine to breathe, machine to keep his body functions, processes happening that we just take for granted every day. So if you don't want any pressure on that curve and that um, on the organs or anything in the rest of your body, make sure that you hold that head up and practice good posture. Just like I'm standing here right now, this is so intense because I'm seeing so many people coming in to my office, not only complaining of just neck pain and mid back pain, but just under stress and stress, stress makes it worse. So restore that curve, dinner roll, roll a towel up, and then hold that head up. So my message I wanna leave you with is get your head up. Hold your head up, everybody. Peace and love. I'll see you next time.